do it yourself Del here and we're gonna we're in the kitchen now and we're gonna do a little oven cleaning and and talk about that and a little later on we're gonna talk about the ceiling fan that we have here so we've got a couple of, of options for for cleaning and um, I like this one I like them both but I especially like this one so we'll start with that and see how we do Spray it around a little bit. And, uh, see. Is that enough? Sure. Okay. So, okay, so this is Mr. Clean, and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm clean perfectly. This is the burner I use all the time. This one, having never used the other one. That's that. And in that little groove there, it feels kind of, kind of, let's say sticky. But, uh, okay, let's see how are we doing on our, on our uh, preheat. We're going to 425 on the preheat, and we're going to uh, have some garlic bread. So I'm pretty happy about the cleaning. It's not perfect here on the burner that I use all the time, but um, it's, uh, so on this here is a little bit over here too. God feels like it's. I'm gonna go over that again. I'll try the other stuff over here. We'll try that here, and we'll try that here again on where it's not perfect here. So. Let's just try the other stuff and see how that goes. Doing pretty good in the back here. That, that came right off. I'm going to take a little more of that stuff. See how it does here. A little elbow grease. So let's see how it does here. I don't think anything could get this off, but we'll give it a whirl anyway. I think we're getting there. That's a lot better. That's and you can see the uh the dirt that come off there. I don't. Th I don't think that's the paint or anything, is it? No. Okay. So Just I'm gonna right. try some more of the the second kind here and we'll give it a whirl. And we're pretty good in the back. Try just a little bit more. Did you talk about how long you've had it, oven? We've had this since last December, and uh, so beginning of last winter, sort of. And Cooked a lot of pizza and a lot of salmon and broccoli, French fries. They don't really do too good on the French fries. I can cook them better on the micro. But we originally wanted to put the micro up above here, but because we couldn't anchor anything into studs and boards in that back wall, or it's just a piece of paneling that we couldn't put put the kind of weight that the micro microwave involves there so this is getting a little bit better it's not quite perfect but try back here and there's uh, and this isn't too bad from what I started it and uh, I'm sure that if I would have cleaned it regularly, there wouldn't be problems. Because you can see for the burners that I haven't used. I don't know how this one got dirty, because like I say, I've never used it. But I don't know how that got on there. Let's try the first stuff again here. I don't think we, we just have these two cleaners right now. So we'll give this first one another chance. And 
There it is. And there's another. I think that was a piece of paint. Some of them <laughs> painting the ceiling. One managed to slip through, but that was that. How are we doing? 350. So we got 75 degrees more to go to till we can. Uh, we can cut. And the uh, the pizza tray is in the in the oven, so I imagine we could just put the put the uh, garlic bread on the pizza tray. Sure. Okay. So we got a plan there. This doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. So we hit our. Uh, Preset uh, 425, and we're going to put the the uh, garlic bread on a uh, on the pizza tray. So let's see if I can do this without getting burnt. It's working out so far. Okay, there's that. And let's see how long they they want us to. Uh, Okay. I think that is this the oh here we are cooking instructions and on the grill preheat con from preheated conventional ovens so what do we got there for a minute? It says bake 10 minutes until golden brown. Okay, so do I hit the timer here? Yeah. Hit timer. There. One, two. And it's already cooked a couple, so we'll go eight. Sure. Okay, we'll try that. And hit start. I can turn out. Okay, hit start. And then it's going to kick down to seven. So we're losing three there. And then here's a light. So I don't know, we could maybe look to see if it's golden brown. One. Do it yourself, Del, here. While our um, garlic bread is cooking, we're going to continue with our our subject to air handling, we missed a, an item, maybe a crucial item, not, maybe not the top of the list item, but it, it was definitely an item that's involved in, in, in air, air, air handling and air movement. Condition and the comfort of, of the residents of the home and so forth. Uh, we got a ceiling fan here in the kitchen. It's got uh, three lights to it. It has a fan with, uh, I think this first uh, speed is the uh, fastest speed, and I can feel it. So I'm thinking, I know one rotation takes the hot air in, <laughs> in winter and, and brings it down, okay. but I think this is what we had in summer, circulating the air in summer. So this is another speed here. So it's a little slower, you can see. We'll go with another speed. And that's slower still. And that uh, this summer when it was 100 degrees out, we just, we had it was, uh, the, the air conditioning wasn't on all the time. So we tried to assist it with the, I don't know if you recall from the previous video, we had a double fan window unit back here. Since the weather's changed somewhat now, we don't have that in anymore, but but that, that helped as well. And I think one more, I think we'll, we'll stop the fan. And if I can recall, uh, there's a way to make it go, go reverse. And it might be two clicks real fast, I'm not quite sure about that. But, um, 
I guess we're going to see. If it doesn't work, it's not going to... not going to... going to... Uh... But anyway, it it's definitely involved in air handling and air, air, air movement, and I felt bad that, that I neglected to point it out, that it's working in combination with those other items, the filters and everything, and the... And the uh... So... I think I'm gonna go. Nope, I didn't do it right. Let's see if it'll stop again. There's got to be a way that this will go the other other direction. I think this is going the right direction for this time of year. Should slow it down. Should slow it down. There's a switch in front. Oh, okay, here. that's that's what. When it stops, I'll hit that switch, and then you'll see it go the other direction. That's a good point. That's why there's, there's a reason for producers in this world. They come up with those, those great tips. And uh, this thing is uh, on a really good ball bearing, and it just seems to turn forever. Oh, I'd have to wait a couple of seconds for it to stop. How are we doing on our timer? Three minutes left on okay, the garlic. Three minutes. So, yeah, I think I could maybe stop this. I don't recommend you doing this, but there. Now I'm gonna. You say the switch is on my side? The front here. Okay, it's on your side. Okay. There it is. So it's gonna go up. Going up. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull that fin, and it, there it's going the other way. Well, wonders never cease. I probably should have had it doing this in summer just for circulating the air. But I think the way we had it throws that warm air down, so that's like a winter thing there. So here's the fast speed. Second fast, third fast, and I think this should stop it. Then we'll just flip it back. But this is a versatile piece of equipment and it, it can it doesn't make noise you can run it all night nice and slow it doesn't seem to draw a lot of energy um, so we've we had the dehumidifier we had the the furnace slash uh, um, air conditioning unit uh, we had the the window two window units two fans each reversible and and, uh, and flexible and then we have this air handler, and we had that smaller, smaller item that cleans the, the air in the in the bedroom with the with the uh, filter that we cleaned. Okay, so I think we're good here, and I'm gonna flip that switch back to winter. I think it was there. I think it was on that, and I just left it on that. So I should have had it flipped up that way for summer. Next summer, I'll know. And uh, so, how are we doing on our garlic bread? We're ready to rock. We got the uh, the light on in here. I wonder if we can see if it, does that look golden brown to you? Where's that? that uh, um, There's a flash of a couple of them over by the microwave. This one I don't think is that. We we'll take the brightest one. No, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. So we might have lost a minute or two. Um, because one of the things about the timer on this oven is that you set it for a certain amount of minutes, the first thing it does is click down to the next lowest minute. So you lose like a whole minute there. So you got it. You actually should set it for one more minute than what they say, and then also they also might indicate that that uh, it depends on the particular food and uh, and the oven and so forth. Okay, so I threw everything away that that so I didn't have to burn my hands. So I guess we'll have to do this. Um, look brown to you. Yeah, but maybe get the hot pads. You don't don't like doing it. The hot pads are in the okay. Those yeah. those hot gloves. Okay. okay. Here's 
looks like garlic bread. Does it smell like garlic bread? Yeah, yeah it does. So, get this in the light there. It kind of... Here, bring it closer over here. Okay. Rotate it. I guess the main thing is how it tastes, but I want to... There you go. Piece of fish too. So set it on like a, a towel of some sort on the oven here. Okay. Towel of some sort. Like one of those towels right there? One of these. Crusty. Mm -hmm. Crispy. And I gotta get it. Or you want to keep cutting it? I could keep cutting it. While that cools. Pizza tray comes in handy, use it for things other than pizza, as well as pizza. Right. And yeah, it's a little bit crusty, I think. But then flip it open so it can cool down. Oh, you know, the bread? No, 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 not that. Close that. Okay. Close this. By the way, it has the oven has a little thing that even if it's closed, the heat still comes out. Yeah, vent. Yeah, vent. You know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there. That way you don't burn yourself when you eat it. All right, so give your honest review. All right. It's not too bad. The crust is a little dry and crusty, but the bread inside is pretty good. Smells like garlic bread, looks like garlic bread, tastes like garlic bread. I'm going to grab my lemonade to wash it down. Are we through here? Sure. We covered the ceiling fan. We covered this kitchen, cleaning the stove top. We covered using the stove, the oven. And uh, I'm going to grab my lemonade. You kind of have to say your sign off, otherwise it just ends. So not to leave you hanging, do it, do it yourself, Del, signing off.